I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. All right. All right. I'm ready to go. All right. I'm ready. Let's crush some goblin skulls. And other skulls too. I can't learn this spell. I can't learn this spell. I can't learn this spell. This will come in handy. I've used Replica Studios to create the demo voices for the voices module, which you're listening to in this video. It's very easy to create a new voice. Simply select a voice from the list of AI actors, type in your line, and click the play button, which will generate the audio clip. The voice module is really cool. If you like the sound of the clip, then click the save take and then export as an audio file or use the Unity Studio Bridge from Replica Studios to bring it directly into Unity. Now I've brought them into Unity under the name of the character in Replica Studios and the naming convention required for auto population in the script, which is a name of the voice followed by the name of the line, in this case, can't learn this skill. And then optionally, you can have a third parameter for the emotion fierce, lighthearted, or wise for this character, Serene. And a fourth parameter will separate multiple versions of a line to have some variety in your game. Let's create a new voices module. Right click and create, game modules, create voices. I'm going to name this voices demo. You'll find three tabs, one for voices, one for lines, and one for emotions. Now each of these you can populate yourself, but instead we're gonna do this automatically because we've named our Replica Studio clips appropriately. Open the autofill dialog, drag in the directory with all of your audio clips, and then click the autofill button. You'll notice that all of the names are now voices, all of the lines are now lines, and all of the emotions are now emotions. If you expand each voice, you can see that the audio clips have been populated for you, and you can even press play. I can't learn this skill. Audio clips have been populated, and for Serene, who had multiple emotions, you can see that those clips have been populated as well. For the light-hearted emotion, there were two versions, and those are populated. The module will randomly play one of the two when called. You can also add different types. By default, there's a voice type, but you can add a new one, such as male, and then down in the manage types expansion, you can change voice to perhaps female. And then you can assign male and female to the voices however you find appropriate. Visit infinitypbr.com and at the top click the scripting docs link to get to all of our documentation for the modules and other tools we produce. Let's check out the demo scene. Since I just created the new voices scriptable object, I need to drag that into my voices field here. With that done, now we can press play. Each of the characters here will be given a random voice, and we can listen to them. This is a skill I cannot learn. And we can click this arrow button to change the voice. I can't learn this skill. Digging into the UI buttons, you can see that when we click one, we're calling this method uh, play clip on the play button demo script. All this does is call player speak line. If you check out the scripts that come with the module, you'll find them well commented and you can use any of these methods. An easy way to use this module is to create a speak method where you call voice play clip, pass in an audio source and the string, a line that you want to play. Or on your audio source, play one shot and pass in voice dot get audio clip and the line you want to play. Optional parameters exist for the emotion name and the index. If there are multiple clips in one list, it will choose a random one unless you specify the index. Both of these are in the demo script for you to check out and they will also be detailed in the documentation linked from infinitypbr.com. With Replica Studios and the Infinity PBR Voices module, it's extremely easy to get your characters talking within your project. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 
and check out Replica Studios. Thanks!